So now let's take a look at a legal problem called remove linked list elements. So remove all elements from a linked list of integers that has value val. So here you see we have a linked list and uh, we're looking to remove a value, a node that has a value of six. So after removing those nodes, uh, value that uh, node that has a value of six, we get one, two, three, four, five. So to solve this problem, basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a previous pointer and a current pointer. If the current pointer is equal to the value, uh, the target value, then we're going to extend from the previous pointer, remove uh, this node. And to remove a node in a linked list, basically what we're going to do is we're going to have the previous pointer, instead of previous pointer, point to the current node, right? This is the current node. And uh, we're also going to have the nest node. This is the nest node. Instead of ha having the previous pointer point to the current node, we're going to get a previous pointer point to nest.nest, .nest, right? So in this case, nest.nest .nest will be this node right here. So in this case, we're going to have um, this node right here, right? So let's take a look at how we can solve this problem in code. So to do this in code, first we're going to um, define our base case. Base case. Then what we're going to do is we're going to define our previous and the current pointers. Uh, and then we're going to traverse the list. And if we found that the current node is equal to the value, then we're going to delete that node. And then after we successfully delete all the elements that has, uh, all, the, all the nodes that has a value equal to the val, then we're going to return the head node. Right, so traverse the list. The list. Okay, so the base case is that if we have the head is equal to null, we can just return null. And then we're going to define our previous and current pointer. So what we're going to do is that there could be a situation where the current node is equal to uh, the current node dot value is equal to the value. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, have a dummy node. So we're going to say list node dummy is equal to view list node, and uh, we're going to get dummy node dot nest is equal to head. Now what we're going to do is we're going to get define our previous pointer, which is equal to dummy. And the current pointer is now equal to head. So then we're going to traverse the list. So we're going to say, while well, current does not equal to null, uh, we're going to have to check to see if current.value is equal to val. So if current.val is equal to val, we're going to start to delete a node. And to delete a node, we're going to get pre dot nest is equal to current dot nest. So the goal is we want to get the previous node dot nest point to the current node dot nest. And this will basically just uh, delete the current node. And then what we're going to do is we're going to get current, right? So current dot is equal to pre dot nest. So otherwise, if the value does not equal to, so the current dot value is, does not equal to val, we're going to get pre is equal to current, and current is equal to current.nest. So we're going to continue to do that until we have traversed the entire list. And at the end, we're just going to return the head node, dummy.nest. Because there could be a situation we will already delete the head node, right? So in this case, it's going to be dummy.nest. So now let's try to run the code. Okay, let's try to submit. And here you can see we have our success. So this is how we solve this uh, leak code, remove linked list elements. So now let's take a look at another legal problem called remove inf node from the end of the list. So given the head of the linked list, remove the inf node from the end of the list and return its head. So here you can see we have a linked list and we want to remove the second, right? And is basically second uh, last node from the list. In this case, it's gonna be no four. And after we remove no four, you can see we have no three point to no five, right? So in this case, what we can do is we can have a pointer, right? A previous pointer points to the, the node that we want to remove, the, the previous node, uh, the previous node that the node that we want to remove, in this case, node three. And then we have, to have a current pointer points to the node that we want to remove, in this case, node four. And all we have to do is we're going to get node four, uh, node three points to node five, right? So in this case, we're going to get node four, uh, node three points to node five. 
and uh, that's how we solve the problem. This is not how we do it in one pass, right? So we have to figure out the size of the linked list. And then what we're going to do is we're going to get the size of the linked list. In this case, it's five minus nth node from the end of the list. In this case, it's going to be at, uh, five minus two, which is three. So in this case, we have to go from the head, right? All the way three times to get to the desired node. So in this case, uh, this is not how we can do this in one pass. So to do this in one pass, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to have a slow pointer and a fast pointer. And basically, the idea is that we're going to have a fast pointer that moves nth node ahead of the slow pointer. And we're actually going to start with the, uh, the, uh, the with a dummy node. So the reason why we have we have to start with a dummy node is because if the n right is one, right? If the node that we want to move is the head node, then we're going to need a dummy node to start from, right? So to start at, in this case, we're going to have a dummy node, okay? A dummy node, and the dummy node is going to point to the, uh, the, the head node of the linked list. So in this case, it's one, two, right? Three, four, right? So in this case, if we were to remove the second last node, which is this node right here, then we're going to start from the dummy node and uh, we're going to have a slow pointer. Slow pointer is going to point here. The fast pointer is going to um, going to be two nodes ahead of the slow pointer. So it's going to be one, two is going to be right here. And uh, all we're going to do is we're going to get the slow pointer move one by one and this fast pointer move one by one. So now the slow pointer is going to move to here. The fast pointer is going to move to here. Then the slow pointer moves to here. The fast pointer moves to here. Then the slow pointer moves to here and the fast pointer moves to null. And we know that this is the node that we want to, we want to delete. So what we're going to do is we're going to also have a previous pointer um, that points to the node, uh, that points to the, the previous node of the slow pointer so that we can get the slow pointer, uh, the previous node points to the slow pointer.nest. Okay, so now let's take a look at how we can solve this problem in code. So to solve this problem in code, first we're going to define our base case. So if the head node is null, we can just return null, right? So then what we're going to do is we're going to um, have a slow pointer and the fast pointer and we're going to move the fast pointer so we're going to define the slow pointer and the fast pointer um, and then we're going to um, get the fast pointer move in node ahead of the slow pointer um, and then we also going to define as well as a, a, dummy, uh, a dummy node and as well as the previous pointer right so the pre and previous pointer and dummy node so we're going to move fast pointer in node ahead of the slow. Then we're going to uh, move both slow and fast pointers in the same speed. Okay. And then once we get to a point where fast pointer is null, right, then we can just uh, get the previous pointer dot nest is going to be the slow dot nest. So at the end, we're going to return the head node. So to start, we're going to have head. Uh, if head is null, we can just return null. Okay, so that's kind of like our base case. And uh, then we're going to define our slow um, our, our pointers, right? So, it, so in this case, we're going to have our dummy node, which is going to point to the head node. So dummy.nest is going to be head. And uh, we're going to have slow and the fast pointer both start at the same position, which is going to be the dummy. Fast is equal dummy. Uh, then we're also going to have a previous pointer, right? The previous pointer is going to equal to null initially. So basically, we're just first going to get the fast pointer at the correct position. So we're going to iterate n number of times. So i is not less than n by plus plus. So fast is equal to fast on this. So once we get fast, in the, the fast pointer is going to be at the correct position. We're going to move um, the slow and the fast pointers in the same speed. Then, if fast is going to point to null, we're going to get the fast. We're going to get the 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 node that the slow pointers is pointing to 
and we're going to delete that node by getting the previous pointer dot nest is going to equal to slow dot nest. Okay, so while uh, fast is equal to null, this, sorry, uh, fast does not equal to null. Okay, then what we're going to do is we're going to move them in the same speed. So we're going to say fast is equal to fast dot nest. Slow is equal to slow dot nest. And then we're going to get, uh, we want to make sure we get pre is equal to slow before it gets slow is equal to slow dot nest, right? So we're going to continue to do that until we get to a point where the fast, where fast pointer, right, is going to be equal to uh, null. Then once we ha uh, have fast is equal to null, we're going to get pre is dot nest is equal to slow dot nest. And then at the end, we're going to return the head. Or I should say dummy dot nest. Okay, so let's try with a few more examples. Okay, so this is how we solve this um, Lee code remove inf node from the uh, end of the list.